Okay, so uh, these hammers have been normalised and all cool down and uh, touch marks in and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do now is polish these up. And it's cutting some stock that we're going to run through. And then I'm also going to be sticking that converter back up. And I'll talk about that in just a little bit. I just water quenched that and uh, yeah, really pleased with the results on that one. This deep blue is such a beautiful colour. It's always a pleasure to see. It seems a shame to take it away. But um, I'm going to polish this up now and then put the handles on both of these hammers. Not going very well today. I've just run the generator out of diesel, so I'm going to go get some diesel for the Jenny.
Right, for those that don't know, this is the unit that um, got damaged the other day because of um, a misunderstanding to do with the breaker. Uh, anyway, it's all fixed up now and it should be working fine. So I'm going to reattach this up to the power hammer. I'm going to go for plug it in, in the wall uh, and it's going to give me a hand and then we're going to be jumping in between making stock and stuff. So I'm going to carry on and put this on the wall. Um, yeah, and um, it's just a, a little bit of information that I thought you might like to know. These things happen and um, to be honest with you, if we hadn't been so busy recently, um, I probably wouldn't have been able to afford to get this fixed. So the unit in itself, um, I can't remember 100%, but it was in, in, in the in the three and a half, four thousand pounds just for this unit to buy it, to take it down and send it halfway across the country for someone to then go and fix it. It's a bit full on. So uh, yeah, it's um, lessons of running a business, I think. And um, I'm, yeah, I'm just grateful that I was in a position where I could afford to have it fixed so quickly. So I'm going to pop this up on the wall and get it wired in, and I'll see you guys and girls in a minute. It's always a good idea when taking anything apart to. Uh, take some pictures of the things that you're taking apart, like this cable here which goes for the remote, which allows me to start the power hammer from in the workshop. Um, if you take pictures, then that way when you come to put it back together, you know where to put stuff. Handy having these things in your pocket, right? Okay, so this is the unit that was causing the problem. There's an issue with the breaker. We sorted that out now. we just cross. And I'm going to rehook really up the cables uh, for, for the mains electric. So this is a 240 volt 80 amp supply, which I think is a domestic supply. It could be agricultural. I can't quite remember. I know that that's the right amount. Um, and it comes up through this, uh, through this box, which is the main breaker. Then this, uh, then this switch here that uh, connects the power all up. We've got a meter unit here for doing readings and stuff for how much electric I use. This is dangerous, so don't do it at home. Uh, if you're not an electrician, obviously. I'm not an electrician, I don't really know what I'm doing, so don't copy this. I'm just showing you because uh, out of necessity of being someone who's self-employed, sometimes it's not always as simple as calling up someone to come and help you out. you just got to kind of get on. So I'm going to try and wire this up without blowing myself up. Moment of truth. Uh, turn the breaker back on. Switch. I think we're running. Let's see if it powers the power hammer at least, anyway. So, this is our new switch, and that's the old switch. Let's see if it works. Okay, so this is what accumulates from one forklift truck time. So, well, almost one forklift truck time. We've got uh, 40 mil blanks here. These are some uh, tong blanks that are going to a customer. Hammer eye punch for a customer. Oh, hammer eye drift, hammer eye punch. 25 mil round. Hammer blank, 20 mil square stock. 50 round stock and 36 round. That came out of a time and these did as well. So they're all finished and looking lovely. Gonna be making some more of them today, hopefully. Cool. Thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've really, really enjoyed making these today. Uh, and if you'd like to get your hands on these, these should be up on the Etsy by the time this video goes up. If not, they'll be up in a couple of days. Um, and there's all sorts of other stuff like uh, hammer blanks and tools for making hammers and tongs and stuff up there. If you're interested in getting your hands on any of that stuff, the link is in the description. Um, not only have I made these items to sell to you lovely people at home, but um, they are sort of what I'd like to demonstrate as the uh, hammer making courses uh, that will soon be available. So um, I consider this uh, an entry level hammer, it's quite a simple hammer to make if you've got the right tools and the know-how. So I will be offering um, courses to make this style of hammer very, very soon. Um, I'm hoping to be able to offer this 
uh, sort of by the end of October, beginning of November. Uh, this is the introduction to making hammers or the introduction to hammer making course. Um, it's super simple. Um, I think pretty much anyone can do it without any experience. Results may vary depending on obviously your experience level um, and it will be done in a group of four people hopefully uh, with Smith and Stryker and stuff like that. So that's one of the courses that's going to be up there. I'm going to do a few more videos talking about some of the other courses as well so you'll be able to see what's entailed in doing those things. Obviously we won't be using the power hammer on the courses, we'll be doing a lot of work um, by hand. Um, but there's also an introduction to knife making. Now, in the past I've made the small Saxon knives. What I would like to do with that course is make a knife using a better carbon steel than just mild steel and then therefore talk about how to do the sharpening and do the heat treating processes. So not completely grinding a knife, actually physically forging a knife, then making it into a sharp object uh, and then talk about heat treating and all those sorts of things. So a stuff for me to learn, but also I think a valuable course for people who want to learn how to forge, but at the same time want to apply that knowledge to knife making, which the Saxon knives are relatively easy to do. They're like a Saxon style skinning knife. Uh, there's also introduction to tool making, which is one where we go through tong, uh, tongs and how to forge tongs and then what time's left after the tongs is um, making punches and so on and so forth. Uh, and then there's just a general introduction to blacksmithing where some sort of poker or hooks will be made, maybe a bottle opener, which uh, will take uh, a little bit less time than some of the other courses, but it's a good way for you to walk into an environment uh, and learn about blacksmithing and see whether or not it is or isn't for you. So that's, so that's everything. Hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video. I've really enjoyed making these. If you have enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like and subscribe. And if you are a subscriber, please ring that bell for notifications because it tells you every time I make a video. Please leave comments down below on any of the subjects or things you've seen in this video or things I've talked about or information that you'd like to share with me. If, if you'd like to find out any more information about the courses, there will be stuff coming in the future. But if you're desperate to find out now, there will be a link in the description for you to find out a little bit of more information. I'll get a little little flyer thing together to send out to people. Again, go and check out the Etsy. Uh, there's loads of information up there about tools and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be selling the courses through the Etsy as well, uh, sort of like a voucher sort of thing. Uh, also make sure you check out the Instagram, check out my Instagram, because all the things that went wrong with the power hammer, they were definitely on the Instagram. Again, that's in the description. And also go and check out some of the students' Instagrams. They're all in the description as well. Thank you for joining me. I'll leave a link up here to a video, uh, or part one of this series, which is just another day in the forge. I'll leave a link down here to a video of me making some sort of tool there. This is another video, and this is the subscribe button. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.